Meghan Markle may have started to become a diva by the end of her run on Suits. According to Tom Bauer's book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the war between the Windsors, the cast and crew of the USA series noticed a shift in Markle after she began romancing her now husband, Prince Harry. Quote, Some actors and staff discovered that Meghan's attitude occasionally stiffened. The author wrote about Meghan, Quote, Sometimes she arrived late, and her empathy occasionally morphed into near arrogance, he penned. Quote, Megan had markedly shifted from her early days when she held a prayer meeting with the Suits cast before filming started. Bauer also claims that once she got into the mix with the monarchy, the royal family began calling the shots on set. Quote, Orders for changes of words were sent back from London to Los Angeles, the writer revealed. Quote, the most important demand concerned Meghan's last scene at her wedding to Mike. No photographs, the palace ordered, were to be shot of Meghan wearing a wedding dress. Quote, Aaron Korsh was told to submit all future suit scripts to Nick Collins, Meghan's agent. Scripts were thereafter forwarded to Kensington Palace for approval, Bauer continued to allege. Suits creator Adam Korsh also talked about Markle's exit from the series during his interview. Quote, I sort of had a decision to make, but I didn't want to intrude and ask her, hey, what's going on? What are you going to do? So collectively, the writers, we decided to take a gamble that these two people, Megan and Harry, are in love and it's going to work out. What we decided to do was a season progression, say, look, I would rather have a good thing happen to Megan in her life, which would likely mean her to leave the show. So let's plan on that, and it's much easier to undo that if it came to it than just to plan on her saying forever and finding out she's going to go, he said. Previously, an industry videographer who had worked with Meghan Markle came forward to share his experience while working with Meghan. However, he no longer wished to work with Prince Harry's wife because of her attitude. The videographer told Daily Mail that he worked with Meghan Markle a few years back for her promotional project in Toronto, Canada. However, he didn't like how it was working with the former Suits star. The unidentified professional videographer praised Markle for being a professional. Markle was reportedly very easy to shoot because she knew her job. But when there is no camera, she is, quote, not the most friendly person. Quote, she was very high maintenance and rude, the videographer described Markle. Quote, she was difficult and demanding. Before he met Markle, the people already told him to get ready because she was, quote, a lot. Markle arrived wearing a cap and hiding her face. Quote, she was acting like a diva, the videographer added. It appeared to him that Markle didn't want people to see her. She gave the impression that she didn't want to be photographed by paparazzi. However, at the time, she was not that popular. The videographer didn't know her. Aside from acting like a diva on set, there was claims that Meghan Markle was mean to staff. According to Tom Quinn, author of Kensington Palace, an intimate memoir from Queen Mary to Meghan Markle, she shouted at Princess Catherine's staff. The Princess of Wales was reportedly horrified of how Meghan acted. Due to Markle's behavior, she gained unflattering nicknames, including, quote, me gain, quote, Duchess of Difficult, quote, die too, and, quote, die light. When the Sussexes moved to Windsor and left Kensington Palace, the staff were relieved.